What's up everybody, this is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'll be doing today is going to be making some fried zucchini. Uh, I was inspired to do this recipe by another YouTube cooking channel by the name of Booger 500 US and she had just done some zucchini fries in her, in her air fryer and I figured, you know what, let me just go ahead and do that but we're going to double fry this instead. I'm going to leave a link to her channel and I card above in the description below. Anyway, we're going to be making this a little bit different than the traditional recipe. What I'm going to be doing is double battering this, and I'm not going to be using any panko or any breadcrumbs in this. Uh, I came up with this, or I didn't come up with this. I saw this recipe on a box of chicken fry, which is different than this chicken fry I have here. What the technique was, was to add, we're going to use, we're going to separate our uh, chicken fry out into two different uh, batches and then we're going to thin one out with some water and then we're going to kind of double batter to get that extra crispy uh, crust on it. Anyway, so our first step is going to be to add a little bit of liquid to this chicken fry. Basically this chicken fry is just, if you look at the ingredients, it's just uh, flour, a little bit of baking soda, a little bit of cornmeal and some seasoning. So you could just do that on your own. I just happen to be using this particular brand, Drake's, that I got on sale for 75 cents at the store. So all we're going to do is thin, thin out half of this until it looks a little bit thinner than a pancake batter. I have some uh, habanero hot sauce that I'm going to be adding to this, which is totally optional. But whenever I find a recipe I can add some hot sauce in, I'm all for that. So let's go ahead and give this a stir. And this particular uh, fry mix can be used as a wet or a dry uh, coating. We're going to be doing both. And I think that's about thin enough. Like I said, a little bit thinner than your average pancake batter. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to dip our zucchini into this uh, wet mixture. I have the zucchini cut in little thin strips. You can also cut them, uh, you know, sort of like long pickles would be, but we're just going to go with little circles on this. We're going to get these in our wet batter, and then we're going to make sure that they are fully coated. Once they're fully coated, we're going to go ahead and throw them in our dry mixture. Go ahead and get my pan here. And I'm just going to do these one at a time just so I don't end up with a bunch of clumping. We're just going to set them on that rack. Alright guys, so we got our zucchini coated up. We have our oil at about 325 degrees and we're just going to go ahead and throw these in. Be careful. I'm doing this by hand. If you have something better to use, use that. And one more. We're going to cook those until they are golden brown. These look like they're about the color I want. I have a little pan over here, a broiler pan that I'm going to go ahead and throw these on to drain off. And I prefer putting them on something like this as opposed to a, a paper towel or something like that just because it allows the grease to drain off a little bit better. We look like all plated up. The sauce that I have is just a simple sauce of, I have some sour cream, a little bit of lemon juice, some dill, and just a little bit of salt. Uh, you can go with kind of a marinara type sauce with this as well, but I wanted something kind of cool to go along with uh, the heat of these uh, fried zucchini. Anyway, let's taste. All right, so I haven't tasted these yet, but I can tell you I do like the way this batter looks on these uh, fried zucchini, but I guess it doesn't matter if it doesn't taste good. Let's get in. Dip some in some of that sauce. Actually, you know what? Let me try one without the sauce first. Mm. 
That particular batter, Drake's, first time I bought it, nice flavor to it. Don't need to add anything to that at all. This right here is a must try. Now, if you're looking for a more traditional version, run by Booger 500 US. Like I said, link is in the iCard and description below. She does a more traditional fried zucchini and she also does it in her air fryer. So, anybody that has an air fryer, take a look at that. And even if you want to fry it, deep fry it, Check out her recipe. She uh, does the more traditional panko breadcrumbs and all that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.